Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to show you how to use the built-in PHP development server using the command line. So this tool allows you to run your PHP applications without the need for a built-in um, web server such as Apache. So to actually use this thing you require PHP 5.4 or above and then you can actually run the server within a directory containing your PHP application. So for example, here I have an index.php file which simply prints out decode on YouTube. This is uh, contained within a directory called dev server. So I'm going to open up the command line here inside this directory dev server and then run the PHP um, development server. So let's just type out uh, PHP and then say dash capital S followed by the IP address to um, make the server uh, available on okay so you want to type out 0.0.0.0, .0. now this means you want to make the uh, server visible on all the IP addresses on your machine okay so from there you specify the port to actually listen on. You put a colon and then say something like 6705. Press enter and the server is now running. So now you have a web server running on port 6705 at all the IP addresses on your machine. This means in the browser you can go to localhost on port 6705 and you'll see the application. So inside Chrome here, I'm going to type out uh, localhost on port 6705. If I press enter, we get decode on YouTube. Perfect. So here, PHP is actually looking for the index PHP file and then serving it by default. Okay. If I was to say forward slash index.php, we get the same result. Okay. So basically, if you were to rename this to something like bottle.php, so not index, and then go to the actual root, we get 404 not found. It can't find an index file, so just keep that in mind. Let's make this back to index.php. Okay. Now keep in mind that this thing also supports um, your standard like get variables. So for example, if I was to actually var dump the get global array, okay, save this, refresh the browser, and we get nothing inside there. Let's just go to view source, okay? So we get nothing inside there. Let's just get rid of that um, that text. Okay. Let's try again, refresh. Okay. If I was to now say, uh, you know, question mark and say something like name equals DOM and press enter, we see we actually get the the get query string variables passed in just like that. So it supports that also. Now, you can even specify the directory to, um, to have the document root. Okay, so let's just close this server, control C. Okay, clear this up. All right. So now let's actually just make a new directory here and call this one something like public. Okay, this will be the public user facing directory. Okay, let's put a index.php file inside there. And let's just say we'll echo out um, hello world. Okay, quite standard right there. Okay, so now I'm going to rename this file to something like application. And you can pretend that this file here, this application file, pretend this has all your application logic inside it. And public will contain all your, you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So now, inside the command line, let's type the same thing out. And then just say dash lowercase t to specify the public directory or the document root. Let's say dash t and then public press enter and now you can see the document root is actually the public directory. If I was to refresh this this time around we get hello world so 
it's serving from the public directory first. All right, and that's how you can use the PHP development server um, through the command line. Just keep in mind, this is actually only recommended for development use. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.